Hi, Simon of Vans today in Worcester. Going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 66 plate. Might be a 2017. Let me double check. Uh, it'll be on the advert by the time you look at the video anyway. Um, <clears throat> Ford Tornado Custom 2 litre TDCI. Titanium. Uh, that's the top of the range model. L2 long wheelbase um, with uh, the Euro 6. Um, so let's uh, give you an idea of condition of what you're buying. Heading up there onto the roof, you've probably got a better view of it than I have, uh, but I'm thinking that looks all good to me. Down onto your windscreen, which is a heated, quick, clear front windscreen, all good. Down onto the bonnet. Bonnet has a couple of stone chips in it. Uh, there is currently a bit of a ding there on the front of the bonnet. It's where people are aggressive when they close the bonnet. Uh, so we will get our dead man in and he should be able to sort all of that out, no problem at all. Stone chips wise, a couple of minor bits. We can get them touched in for you. Um, but overall, nothing that you wouldn't expect to be there for the age and the miles. Coming around, passenger light units all good. Nice and secure, no problems there. Passenger side, front bumper corner, no scuffing. Couple of minor stone chips, mind you. We can get those touched in for you. Front fog lights all good. You have front parking sensors on this vehicle as well. Grill's all good. Driver's side, front bumper corner, all good. Again, a couple of stone chips, which we can get touched in for you. Fog light down there is all good as well. Light unit, driver's side's all good. Uh, driver's side, front wing, all good. Driver's side, alloy wheel and tyre, all good. Looks like we need a bit of air in that tyre. There is a tyre pressure warning light on on the dashboard moment so we'll get that checked out we might have a little bit of a slow puncher going on there but that will be picked up on on the pdi process minor stone chips i think on that front wing again nothing major but we will get it uh, touched in mirror unit has a small scuff there nothing major there either uh cover is all right though and the mirrors themselves are all okay driver's side front door glass is all good driver's side front door is good uh, the lock is all in good order, behind your door handles are good. And coming down here, looking along the sill, all in good condition. Uh, step on this side has uh, just lost a little bit of the coating on the surface. We can get that um, sprayed back up for you. Um, it's just where you stand on it and it will over a period of time just lose some of the fascia. Uh, looking down the driver's side of the van, uh, got a really nice gleam to it because it's just been into the detailers and been machine polished. We have a really small ding, I think, just below the driver's door lock. It's that minor, it doesn't actually show up very much, but it is there. Uh, driver's side sliding doors in good condition. You have an opening window on the sliding door there as well. Glazed on the back end, obviously being the nine seat Tornado. The sliding door rail in good condition. And the lower rear quarter on the back end, all good as well. Over your arch, all good. Alloy wheel this side, minor mark on it there. Uh, inside the arches and stuff, nice and clean and tidy. Tire this side, loads of tire tread depth as well. Uh, driver's side bumper corner, all good driver's side light unit all in good order and as you can see we've got the tailgate open on it at the moment so it is a rear tailgate model uh, looking inside your tailgate it's not too battered there sometimes these can get quite battered from luggage and stuff hitting the backboard but not too bad and then coming inside the vehicle you've got minor marks obviously it is a used vehicle it has done a job there are minor marks on the plastics on the inside on the boot trim Nothing major from a distance, not too much of an issue. Back of your seats, relatively clean and tidy. And again, we have some loading marks on the side trim over here as well. Carpet in the back's clean and tidy. Now being the long wheelbase, you've got a huge amount of room behind your rear seats. The video actually doesn't really show it, um, but there is loads of room. And all those red toggles on the back of the seats, pull those, it'll fold your seats down. Um, you can have them folded down halfway. 
uh, or you can flip up the seat up to the other side of the, of the other seats in front of it or you can remove those seats completely. Um, the Torneos are a lot more um, flexible than say the Transit Custom Combi. Obviously rear tailgate, tailgate glass, all good here. You can see a little bit of a mark from the rear wiper. Nothing major, but it is there. Um, so it's tinted on the back end, heated glazed rear tailgate with rear wash wipe. Tailgate itself, good condition. We have a reverse camera down here. That comes up on your dashboard. Top of your bumper, loading marks, etc. Not too bad at all. It's not done too hard a job, this one. Uh, rear parking sensors, you have a rear camera fitted to it as well. And then rear light units, passenger sides, all good. And if we show you down the passenger side of the vehicle, again, no major dents or dings to point out to you. Straight and tidy. Rear bumper corner is all good. Alloy wheel this side, again, similar damage to the other one. A little bit of a light scuff there. Tire, again, loads of tire tread depth on there. Rear quarters this side, all good. Similar to the other side, sidestep could do with a little bit of a spray over with some black paint. We can always get that done. But sliding door's good. As you can see, there's some kind of a mirror finish there. It's a weird blow with a mobile phone standing in front of it, look. Um, sliding window, passenger side passenger side front door all good we have a couple of minor marks a little minor mark there a little bit of a touch in there nothing major behind your door handles clean and tidy mirror units themselves mirrors all good mirror unit this side's all good and then passenger side front wing we have a little bit of a mark there we'll have to get the polishing mop on that touch up stick maybe and uh should be able to get that sorted for you and passenger side front alloy wheel, a couple of minor marks on it, and tire tread depth, there you go. Uh, so that's the outside, so not too bad, you know, minor bits and pieces, but to be fair, for the age of the vehicle, not too bad at all. Uh, looking inside the vehicle, uh, full leather trim with this one, so you've got like a light grey leather trim. Uh, up there in the ceiling, you've got your additional vents for your rear heating system. And then leather seats. Obviously, we've got ISOFIX going on on those two seats over there. Uh, armrests on your outer seats. Uh, we've got ISOFIX in at least one of those seats in the back there as well. And again, these seats can lift up. Um, seat rail things underneath because i'm a little bit manky if i'm being completely honest with you i might have to just pull those seats out and give them a bit of a clean up not massively impressed with that so it is there you know i'm not going to try and hide it it's just um it's not it's not unusual to see the metals that they go into go a little bit bank back of the seats in the front all good and then entry sills this side Plastics, carpets in the front. It actually looks dirtier in the video than it does in real life, if I'm honest. They have been cleaned. And the dashboard fascia, etc., is, you know, tidy. You've got, uh, obviously, two double seats in the front here as well. Little pull there for your cup holders. Uh, and these will lift up and move over there like that. And you've got storage underneath there as well. Air conditioning. Um, you've got factory sat nav in here, integrated reverse camera, DAB stereo radio, Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music. Passenger door card this side, clean and tidy. And we'll just quickly show you around on the, the driver's side as well. Have a quick look under the bonnet, shall we? You flick it left, left to open it, flick it right to then pull it up. Do it one handed with an iPhone in your hands, a bit of a mare. There's your windscreen filler, brake fluid, power steering fluid, oil filler, dipsticks down there. And there's
there's your antifreeze as well clean and tidy uh, not contaminated etc and there you go that needs adjusting that's obviously why it's got a little bit of a ding there people keep hitting it uh, opening up your passenger sliding door again not too bad oh we have a handle broken there by the looks of it have to get that sorted as long as you can get it sorted and then driver's door door card clean and tidy no signs of abuse getting in on the driver's sides all good carpet this side we have a carpet mat this side no carpet mat the other side a bit weird but that's how it's come uh, electrically adjustable seats seat squabs etc okay driver's armrest leather multifunction steering wheel we have additional storage in here start stop technology reverse parking sensors wipers are on this side uh, we have auto i believe we've got auto wipers yeah just telling us about those tire pressures on the front end of the vehicle and then multifunction on the steering wheel here for your telephone system, volume controls, voice activation, driver information system, etc. for over here is operated off here. Speed limiter and cruise control this side, indicators and main beam this side, six speed gearbox, little funky mobile phone holder here, heated rear window, heated quick clear front screen, air conditioning. We do have heated seats in the front uh, on the driver's side and the outer seat on this side. As I say, hit the reverse gear, there's your reverse camera, rear view mirror. So there we go, they were great spec van. Great value for money as well. Let's face it, put a Volkswagen badge on this and you'd be paying about another 10 grand more. Um, and that's it, so it is a one keeper for a new vehicle. Uh, let me just clarify the miles that are sat on it as of today. 56,528 miles. Uh, finished in black, in good all-round condition. Uh, it has come direct off the lease company that's been running it. I suspect it's probably had a little bit of paint um, as it's come off lease, just to tidy it up in a couple of places. Um, but as you can see, looking really nice in the black, isn't it? Um, so there's 70-odd photos on our website. Um, we are vans today based in Worcester in the centre of the country and you can contact us on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Hopefully it's a fairly thorough video walk around. If there's anything else that you would like clarified, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks for looking. Cheers.